Hello, your, uh, your person who is terrible at decision making is back once again for this game. Because I still can't make decisions very easily. And it's, uh, and it's, uh, 1.37 p.m. I am. So I, I need to get this recorded and uploaded not too long from now. Alright, bird hit you. Yes. Oh, the bird is too pricey. Gosh darn it. Oh wait, I could sacrifice some health for that. Oh well, too late. But yeah, so... I, I would have recorded this a bit sooner than now, so that way I wouldn't have to worry about... Um, like, if I'm going to get this out in time or not. But, for some reason, the internet decided, yeah, not today, buddy. Uh, I'm going to just die for, like, two hours. So I have to wait from, like, 10 p.m. something to now. Eventually, it's more than, uh, it's more than two hours, but hey, whatever. He's, but the point is, like, I had to wait quite a while before the internet came back. I didn't even, oops, I didn't even know when exactly it came back, because I was watching YouTube while eating a bowl of popcorn, as I do sometimes, and using up too, probably too much data, but oh well, it's fine. I don't use it any other time anyway, so oh, it'll be fine for the moment. But yeah, it, it came around back at least sometime around like 1.20 p.m. Wait, what did I say it was? Yeah, at least 1.20 p.m. So, um, like, it was a lot of waiting. Oh, okay. This was the forest, not the dungeon. And this, I was about to say, unless it's both. And it is. Alright, then. Let's look in here. See what we can find. Uh, here. I want this money. The power of fear does not compel me enough to go away from money. I'm still greedy. Oh. Burn. Uh, that doesn't do very much. Oh, right, those launch as soon as they kill you. That's good to remember. Oh, and they still stay spawned after. Nope, not going that room. Not, not at all. I'm going to stay in that one. <laughs> I, I'm out. See ya. It's kind of hard reading this map when it's like... Not colored in like this. Hi, wolf. How dare you. Let's see where we can... Or what we can find here. Out here? I'm scared. Oh, what did I just bounce off of there? I have no clue. But it spooked the heck out of me. Can line on the bushes? Just need to make sure. There's a dwarf path there, apparently. Bird. Go birds! Oh, you know, that shot. Thank goodness the birds are homing and spawn like basically one per enemy. Oh, and there's a chest we can only get when we're a dwarf. So many of those right now. What the heck? Kind of unfair, honestly. Oh, something just died. Oh, it was the, it's the throw pillows. The things that I don't remember the name of anymore. And honestly, still don't care about what their name is. I'm still calling them throw pillows, no matter what. That's what they are. Thus, that's what they're dubbed. Which our boss. Our local deadly deadly boss. What? You didn't die. Get me out of there. Oh, you have a lot of health. Go 
would I? And I could not get out of that one. I could probably have jumped over the... Or in between the two upper ones, but oh well. It happens. Let's see. You're a giant. Clonus. You have a random uh, spam spasms. Yes, diet, savant. Give me some more money, because you're a miner. This is glaucoma. Okay, yeah, we're going with the nearsighted one. How much money do we got? Okay. Um... How much does this cost? Oh, a lot. Oh yeah, this nearsighted thing is not that bad. At least. Now I know. Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and just get ourselves some more money in there. What, what do we want, though? Besides that, what's the armor? I, I never looked at the armor last episode, so I don't remember what kind of armor we have available. Alright, we need more weight so we can have more health and mana. That would've helped. Or a lot more weight and some money for that. And this one, just more magic damage. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot. What does this cape give us? A bunch of armor. Yeah, just a bunch of armor. Alright, we'll increase the weight by one level. That's fine by me. Okay with having some extra health and mana. It's always nice and dandy, especially now that I'm a character that dies super easily. I really am glad that apparently I have, uh, gotten used to the controls relatively quickly, considering the gap in, uh, time between playing this. Cause, like, the last time I played it, I was playing Spyro still, I think. I think at least looking at the playlist, that seems to be the case. Since this playlist was lifted right after Spyro. Actually, I guess it came out right after I finished Spyro. I'm going to die. I walked into you. That is bad. Oh, whoa. Okay, hang on. Wait, what? My magic is swapping. Is that what? Love shift, not tab. Yeah, random spells. That's what Savant means. Oh. Okay, oh, I'm dead. I could dash. Why did I dash? Well, so much for more money. Let's see, the one, there is no sport. Boldness, the bold and the beautiful. Oh, Dwarfism! And we're permaborated. Yes, please. Hey, what does that say? Lich Queen, feed off the dead, gain permanent life for every kill up to a cap. Extremely intelligent, special age. Okay. Just, just need to make sure that I wasn't forgetting what that was. Oh yeah, that would be really nice. Have an extra roll, that would've been really good for the- I hit the wrong button. That would've been really good for the, uh... The last... Like, generation. Oh well. I haven't got enough money for that yet. I haven't, I haven't gotten that far through the game yet. Or rather, I'm not that good at the game. Yet. I think I was your way before taking that. Oh, I forgot I'm perverted. Alright. No secret chest for dwarfs. Now watch this be the run where I don't find anything dwarf related. And I mean, not the right way. And become very sad. Man, oh, if only I was flexible though, I wouldn't take that. If only I was flexible though, I wouldn't be taking these hits. Also, it'd be less scary if I, uh, didn't accidentally convert health into magic. Check out I don't have crows though. Crows would be really nice. Probably I didn't get crows. I think every time we've seen a a lich. They've always had them. Or that spell. I hate 
a full of these options. What the heck? Alright. Fine. Get away from me. One of them actually squeaked through, but hey, I mean... I think that was less hits than I would have taken otherwise. Oh, I could have also just dropped to the bottom. I chose wrong. Nice. I chose the incorrect room to go through. I needed to go through this crappy one. Dude, why? Why were both these rooms just that bad? Hello? I there not care to test your dexterity, yada 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 yada. Destroy eight targets with daggers. Oh gosh. That's not good. I hit the wall. I'm failing this one. Oh god. You know what? That was a decent amount of gold. And that time I actually could tell how much gold I was getting to. Honestly, that main game was like just like challenging apparently for me. Not bad. Are you what? That last turn gave us 50. I consider that pretty good. I'm even taking three hits. Lovely. I just wait for a second. Oh. Oh god, I slung him up. Get out of here. Oops. Got the cans are on spikes. Okay. Just run to the side. We kill the cannon, because you gotta kill everything. You don't, but heck. I mean, it's better if you do. More money. More chance of death, but at the same time. More chance of money. So, who doesn't like money? The launch them into the air and they got me for it. Darn. I was actually safe. But I just didn't jump. Who would have thought? And Promo Word is kinda sucks. Oh yeah, let's just see what oops. Not to have this shift. So you're not getting these out of the park, you are tiny. Now that I know it says different things for the shift menu and the character card, I kind of want to read them now. So I'm tempted to go back and choose some of those uh, bad ones like Vertigo and Glaucoma and whatnot. Like a second time despite the fact that we've already seen them before. Just so we can see what, they see, what it might say differently. Because I guess not all the time. Just always say something different. Some of them do. Plus, what's the of a mana refill? It's fine. As long as I don't miss a pogo. Yep, perfect. I guess if I did miss a pogo, I have a double jump, right? There was a. Oh, right, I didn't go to that room. Alright, I'm out. Wait, no, that's a mimic. <laughs> I'm about to say, wait, there's a chest right there. Nope, mimic. Dash. Dash. Double dash. That's a Mario Kart game. Pretty good one, I might add. Mario Kart double dash is fun. It was terribly annoying to lock and everything, but that's just because, you know. Like, you get in first place and immediately you get hit by like 15 blue shells and 5 red shells and so on and so forth. Just kind of the way Mario Kart games go. And then you become very sad about it. I don't know how I hit that guy, but alright, we'll take it. I want to try to explore one of these locations more. Oh, and there's a chest here. Jumping. I almost killed myself with a throw bell. Alright, you're not the real chest. Oh, hi. We're taking this first. For anything else, we're taking this. Guardian helm? Nice. 
don't know what that is, but nice. I'm gonna just assuming it's good. Shoot. Darn not having flexibility. Something that I don't have a problem with in real life, thankfully. Except I don't do anything with my flexibility, so... Oh well. Energetic. Alright, that's what I said. No. Exad- No, I tend to exaggerate. Ah. Stereo blind dwarf. There's two dwarves and a giant. Have I seen you? Have I used one of you? I don't want teleportation. I want this. I don't think we have seen him, but I'd rather have the better magic. Or the magic I more prefer. Let's go see what our uh, new equipment is. Well, it weighs a ton. Apparently. And it gives 18 armor instead of the 5 health. Honestly, kind of preferable. You take not as much damage. So you just have more health. Oh, that's health. Or more health. Wait. This doesn't even give as much armor. I guess it's just because it gives vampirism. Is there anything we can equip, though? Not quite. Not quite. Unfortunate. Alright. We'll just take an upgrade, then. And I, I mean, we're only 16 minutes through this video, and I probably should stop on the account that, you know, lack of time and stuff, but... No. I have a problem. <laughs> so... It's fine. What kind of magics we got? Alright. Talk to me. When time is frozen. I guess they just don't care. I'm frozen. I want the axe or the dagger? That was a good question. That was horrible, horrible timing, but it worked. Okay. Sure. If I go into the carnival game and I try to swap magic, will it just swap me back to the dagger? Or just not swap at all? Or, you know, whatever magic he wants me to use for that. I guess to be fair, what, what magic would necessarily be better? I guess, like, if you could somehow cheat and get the crow magic uh, in the carnival games. Like, that's an automatic win right there. You hit every single target. No matter which one it is. Like, which minigame it is. Especially the axe one. I think. I think you can use the crows enough times where for the one with the axe, you could use axes. To be able to be fine with that. I was about to say, is there two enemies we can't see in the wall? No, they're just shooting through. Oh yeah, and we're actually a dwarf, so we can actually use this. Look at this go. It's so nice. Whoops. Oh yeah, can we have elaboration on what exaggerating means? Exaggerate the damage I take? Does it just... Does that mean my health bar is always lying? Or does that mean... The numbers just... Like... I take a, I take a hit and it's just like 10,000 damage! Like, you know, just one of those cosmetic... Uh doesn't actually- yeah, no, it's that. It's that. It's one of the cosmetic ones where it's like, it doesn't actually affect your gameplay. It's just kind of like a, ha, ah, that's me. I'm an idiot. Who can't time things, apparently. I should dash. I said that, got ready to dash in case I had to actually do it again. So my finger wasn't on the, uh, attack key, or on the, like, the movement or something. I don't know which key. Yeah, I don't, I don't know which key. I guess, I don't know. 
I've already actually forgotten which key I use to uh, hit that with. Don't know how I forgot that already, but I did. Oop. Ain't both of them? No. Just one of them. Those, not that those ones are the threat. The ones down there. That are threatening me. Oh my goodness! I made the wrong button. Jeez, I did not even realize there was one that had a whole main ability. Like, actually, though, I did not know that. Okay. Like, actually spooked me. Oh. And then there was an easy path up there. You know, is that strange shake if I the wall like that? No, it was just that specific corner. Oh, hey! I have another journal entry. I was talking about this earlier. I was going to say I was glad we didn't get one of these. Because I would, now I have to reading. Journal entry 8. From the number of dead adventurers I have passed in these halls, I have come to the following conclusion. Many did not take provision or enough provisions with them. I assume many died of hunger. I myself am running low and will find or have to find more supplies. Many are missing clothes, which explains the pant wearing zombies. No one has made it as far as I see. Er, as far as I, since I haven't passed any corpses in over an hour. Not even zombies? Ah, shoot. Dagger. Uh, not going so well. We have a lot of money. Man, oh man. Do I not have a lot of health? Oh, hey. This will help. Uh, let's do time. Correction, let's do axe. Yep. Now dagger, because it costs less. Like, way less. That's the wrong button. Oh. Nice! I could have died right there if uh, that wasn't the case. Alright, I think if I stand here, I should be fine also. Okay. Time travel? Axe. Okay, axe. Now dagger. Actually using magic for once in my life in this playthrough. Who would have thunk it? Like, I know, such, such an amazing feat. Something you've never seen from me before. Hey, don't, don't dodge. It's not allowed. Now I'm out of magic. This is an actual chest, thankfully. With our sage sword. Nice. So I do that. That way, next time I hit you, you should be dead. Well, you weren't. Instead, I died. I got killed by a spike hex. That's not what their names are always, are they? That's different. Probably changes like everything else for the areas. Ah, uh, sure. We'll go with Paladin. We haven't seen one of those in a while. And who knows how long we'll be since before we see him anyways. Cause this will probably be the end of this episode. After I figure out what to buy. Let's look at the sage sword first, I guess. Cause that sounds interesting. 10% gold bonus. <clears throat> Lose a lot of damage though. Yeah, wait. Actually, we, we lose more damage than unequipping this. Oh, and it weighs like a ton. I don't think that's actually helpful. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I could probably use armor. What would be better? Damage? Yeah, I'll buy damage. And to end it off, we read the trait. You have random muscle spam spasms, and you are bald. So boldness still is just a cosmetic thing. Got it. 
I didn't know if this was gonna be like flexible and have like actually something that was different. I thought no, like, you're right, there's just one that says you cast magic around. I don't know what random muscle spasms are then. And I'm kinda worried about that. But alright then. That'll do it for this episode of uh, Rogue Legacy. Next time we continue onwards. I'm starting to make more and more progress into the other area, so that's fun. That's great. Soon we're going to be fighting another boss, and since I'm making progress in all three areas, sort of, kind of, not really the dungeon, more of the forest and the maya, <laughs> like, since I'm making progress in those two, kind of, like, at the same rate, we'll probably see two bosses eventually, like, around each other. I mean, not the exact same time, but around each other, so see you all whenever that happens, or in whatever video you might watch next that has me in it, if you do watch another one with me in it. Bye-bye.